some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have a frauditor that has gone underneath people's radars in the past few days because, well, Glenn Serio's mass ended up eclipsing his return, both literally and figuratively. That's right. Good old William from Fake Mike Real News has made a return. Now, he did not take a year off like Glenn Serio did, but his postings were rather sporadic for a while. But he's back, and he's just as much of an idiot as he's always been. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy watching the self-proclaimed reincarnation of L. Ron Hubbard act like a total moron. What's up, guys? Fake Mike back here. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. This is another favorite hangout spot of these guys right here. Just like to post up here. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. I drove to try to find these guys and I ran up. Make sure this guy don't dip. Whew, out of breath. Now, I know you're not a fat pile of crap like Glenn is, so why are you out of breath? I mean, all you've done is walk across the parking lot to stalk this police officer. Why should that leave you out of breath? You're nowhere near the weight of Glenn, like I said, but you still are a pile of crap. Dollar sign Fake Mike Real News on Cash App, Fake Mike Real News on PayPal, Fake Mike Real News on Instagram, Fake Mike Real News on Twitter, Fake Mike Real News.com, HeroSubcompany.com, forward slash Fake Mike. You're a coward. You're a coward. How's it going, brother? Why are you riding away from me? I'm not running away from you. As soon as, why as, why would I run away from you? What, did you do something wrong? No, of course not. What did right, you? Well, I got a call. Can I go to the call or what? Why did you open the door? Huh? You have a call right here? No, no, I'm leaving. Why did you open you, the door? You, you're calling me a coward. Yeah. Why are you calling me a coward? Because as soon what as I have to do with me, what, what do you have? Because to do as with soon me? as I walk up to you, you ran away. No, I had a call. It just so happens. What's your name and badge number? My name is Al Deschamps. My badge number is five two seven. I got 20, 20 years on the job, and I have nothing to. Twenty do. years on the job. Know. One if question. You're, if you're trying to instigate me. I don't no, know. No, I have one. Would. I have one question. Okay, you can ask it. What are the five points of the First Amendment? You tell me what they are. I know them. I have them right here in my pocket, okay. but it's well, not why my don't job. You tell me what they are. Because I pay you to know them. No, no, no. You don't pay me. To, you don't pay me at all, buddy. My, do you... my, my checks don't say your name. What's your name? Oh yeah, that was such a good response from the officer. And William just doesn't know what to do. In fact, he'll be complaining here in a minute because this officer has got a call he's got to attend to. And he doesn't have time for the antics of this idiot. Because the more time he wastes on entertaining this idiot, the less time he'll have for the call. What's your name? What's your name? I already told you. You gotta. You gotta. Uh, what's your, What's your name? What's your name? You don't have to know my name. You what's took. Your you, name? you took an oath to protect what's my Fourth that? Amendment. Okay, that I just know. shows. That just shows that you All don't right, know so it. Now, okay, take the drive of shame. Take right, the drive right, of right. shame. Yep. Yeah, Wait a second. Did you just imply that even asking for a name is a violation of the Fourth Amendment? Boy, you are stupid. Because the Fourth Amendment covers unreasonable searches and seizures. Which leads me to question, how do you seize somebody's name? Because your name is not a tangible element of who you are. It is a label placed on you from birth. Drive a shame. Yep. Guess who you'll be calling the next time they come out. I never call the cops. Guess who you'd be calling? That's all they do. Cops just sit around all day. They sit around all day, bro. They just post up in the car and sit around all day. It's pathetic. This is what, this, guys, we should make a documentary out of my YouTube channel, right? Like craziness. Craziness. They sit around all day, bro, in their cars and do nothing. We have missing people. We have cold cases. We got untested rape kits. 
all that. You know, these cops can sit here all day. By the way, riding in this park is quite beautiful. Especially in the springtime. Hey, Tolbert, have you ever heard of a concept, well, a sociological and economical concept called division of labor? You see, in every workforce, everybody has their own tasks they have to adhere to. Just because you see a cop out on the street sitting in his patrol car, supposedly by your definition, doing nothing, doesn't mean there are not other cops out on the street somewhere else uh, performing their duties, working on cold cases or any other type of crime that's going on. You're focusing on the macro to mesospheres rather than the macro spheres. In plain simple words, Tolbert, you're too dumb and blind to see what's going on in the real world. But of course he's not done spreading his stupidity around. There's one more encounter in this video that we gotta watch. So let's skip ahead to that. Five minutes later. How you doing, brother? Good, Good, what you working on today? Like, what are you up to today? What you, what you doing today? Patrolling. Patrolling? Cool, man. My professor says I have to ask one officer if they can tell me the five points of the First Amendment. Could you help me out? Do you know the First Amendment, sir? I actually have a medical condition. I'm asking you about your job. You need a rescue? Do you know the First Amendment mustache? What's your name and badge number? You don't know the Constitution. You're just sitting here scrolling through your phone. Uh, yep. play games. You don't need yep. a rescue? Nope. You can go ahead and do the drive of shame yeah. like a coward. Stupid ass mustache. Drive away, coward. Go ahead. Drive away now. Do it now. Hurry up. Hurry up. Coward. You're a coward with a dumb mustache. This is probably one of the best examples of what to do when one of these frauders walks up to you. Don't give them any content and just drive away. Sure, they'll call you a coward all day long. But you gotta ask yourself, could this guy actually put on a uniform and serve his country? No, he's never served his country. Would he join a volunteer fire department and rescue people out of a burning building? People he never met before and risk his own life? No, I don't think so. No, because the only thing Tolbert is good for is standing on a street corner and calling people cowards. Truly a man who lives a sad and pathetic existence. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. I'll see you later.